Welcome to Knowledge Bites, your daily dose of wisdom. Max Planck, the reluctant pioneer of quantum physics. Imagine a world where physics is as steady and predictable as a Swiss clock. This was the state of science in the late 19th century, a universe governed by the clear, unshakable rules of Newton. But then, along came Max Planck, a soft-spoken German physicist who didn't just wind the clock. He smashed it, revealing a chaotic quantum world where the old rules no longer applied. Ironically, Planck didn't set out to revolutionize anything. He merely wanted to solve a small problem in physics. What he ended up doing was laying the foundation for an entirely new field, quantum mechanics. Planck was born in 1858 in Kiel, Germany, into a family of academics. His father was a law professor, and the family tree boasted scholars in every direction. As a child, Max excelled in music and mathematics, but he eventually chose physics, drawn by its logical elegance. At the time, physics was considered a nearly complete discipline. Scientists believed they were on the verge of tying up loose ends rather than discovering anything groundbreaking. Planck himself once said he chose physics because it was a finished field, where he could simply work on refining existing ideas. Oh, the irony. By the late 1800s, Planck had established himself as a respected physicist, teaching at the University of Berlin. His career might have been unremarkable if not for one persistent problem, blackbody radiation. Don't let the term scare you. It's just a fancy way of describing how objects emit light when heated. Think of the glowing red coils of a toaster or the white hot filaments of a light bulb. Scientists knew these objects emitted energy, but they couldn't explain why the intensity of light varied across different wavelengths. Classical physics, armed with equations like the rayleigh genes law, predicted that as the wavelength of light decreased, the energy emitted would shoot off to infinity. This absurd result, known as the ultraviolet catastrophe, clearly didn't match reality. Something was wrong, but no one could figure out what. Planck decided to tackle the problem head-on, though he later admitted he considered it more of a theoretical nuisance than an opportunity for discovery. In 1900, Planck proposed a radical solution. To explain blackbody radiation, he suggested that energy isn't emitted continuously, like water flowing from a tap. Instead, it comes in discrete packets, which he called quanta. Imagine pouring sugar into your tea not as a steady stream, but in individual cubes. This idea, while mathematically elegant, defied the classical view that energy was a smooth, continuous wave. Planck wasn't thrilled about this implication. He described his quanta theory as an act of desperation to make the equations work. Planck's equation, plus e and hf plus, where chiaris is energy, flax is Planck's constant, and fafs is the frequency, was deceptively simple. Yet, it hinted at a deeper truth about the universe. At the smallest scales, energy behaves in unpredictable, quantized ways. Initially, Planck didn't grasp the full implications of his work. He viewed it as a convenient fix rather than a fundamental shift in understanding. But his theory caught the attention of Albert Einstein, who used it to explain the photoelectric effect work that would later win Einstein the Nobel Prize and cement quantum mechanics as a legitimate field. To appreciate the magnitude of Planck's discovery, imagine a bridge that suddenly ends halfway across a canyon, leaving only floating stepping stones to the other side. Classical physics was the bridge smooth, continuous, and reliable. Planck's quanta were the stepping stones, suggesting that the universe operates in jumps, not smooth transitions. It was unsettling, yet undeniably accurate. Planck's work didn't stop at quantum theory. He contributed to thermodynamics, electrodynamics, and statistical mechanics, but he remained deeply conflicted about the philosophical implications of his discovery. A devout believer in order and determinism, Planck struggled with the randomness inherent in quantum mechanics. He famously remarked, Science cannot solve the ultimate mystery of nature because we ourselves are part of the mystery we are trying to solve. While Planck's contributions to science are monumental, his personal life was marked by tragedy. He lived through two world wars, losing a son in World War I and another to the Nazi regime during World War II. Despite these hardships, he remained a staunch advocate for scientific integrity. He opposed the Nazi Party's interference in academic freedom and supported Jewish colleagues, including Albert Einstein, even as the political climate grew more oppressive. Planck's resilience extended to his scientific philosophy. While others, like Einstein, sought a unified theory to reconcile quantum mechanics with classical physics, Planck accepted the duality of nature. To him, the coexistence of waves and particles, order and chaos, was not a contradiction, 
but a reflection of a deeper harmony in the universe. Now let's sprinkle in some fun facts about Planck. Did you know he was an accomplished musician? He once considered a career as a pianist and maintained a lifelong love of music, often playing duets with his wife and friends. Also, the Planck constant isn't just a term in physics, it's engraved into the definition of the kilogram, linking Planck's work to the very units we use to measure reality. And here's a quirky twist. Planck was a creature of habit, so much so that colleagues joked they could set their watches by his daily walks to the university. Max Planck's legacy is a testament to the power of curiosity and perseverance. He didn't set out to change the world, but his willingness to question assumptions and embrace the uncomfortable truths of his findings opened the door to the quantum revolution. So, the next time you marvel at the wonders of technology, whether it's a smartphone, a GPS, or a solar panel, remember Max Planck. The man who thought physics was finished ended up proving that the universe is anything but predictable. Thanks for joining us. Get smarter daily by subscribing and liking. Grab the Ultimate 360 General Knowledge Smart Book to level up your wisdom. See you next time.